Want to know what you can and can't eat on the keto diet? These are the number one things, the number one questions that I still get on a day-to-day -day basis. And in fact, I just had a follower ask me this very question this morning, hence me recording this video today. Let's talk about what you can and can't eat on keto. And the answers just might surprise you. Hey everybody, Kelly Alexa here, fitness fanatic, serial entrepreneur, confidence coach, and most recently, keto convert. That's right, keto convert. In 2021, the second half of the year, I reluctantly, with the guidance of my doctor, went keto, and it was most successful. Um, in fact, it was the most success I've had in the fitness and weight loss area in almost a decade, I lost 35 inches and 27 pounds, and I couldn't be happier. In fact, this is the happiest, healthiest, the best I've looked and, and felt in, like I said, over a decade. So today I'm gonna talk to you about, like I said, um, some of the top questions I get about what to eat on keto. People are very confused with what they think they can eat, what they think they can't eat on keto, what I eat, what they think I eat on keto. So let's dive into the juicy stuff. Let's dive into the meat of the subject. I always say that it makes me laugh because I do eat meat, but that's not all I eat. So let's talk about what we can and can't eat supposedly on keto. Hey everybody, you know the drill. Make sure that you're subscribed to this channel so that you don't miss a thing when I put out new videos. And also hit that little bell so you're notified whenever we put out new amazing stuff. And all the stuff I put out is amazing, isn't it? Okay everybody, we're back. So um, I really decided to shoot this video today because of a question I got from a follower. And um, it's funny, she wrote to me, or not wrote to me, um, sent me a private message so thirsty. She wrote me a private message and it was something to the effect of, am I allowed to have chicken? Um, or, or she was basically saying, you know, Hey, I'm, I'm trying to cut my carbs and, and move more in a keto direction. Can I have chicken, you know, or should I be moving? She's basically saying, I'm paraphrasing here. She's basically saying, if I'm going to be moving in a keto direction, should I be sticking with higher fat protein just having steak and beef and trying to have, you know, stuff with a lot more fat content in it. And should I be avoiding chicken and fish? And now before I, before I give you my opinion and before I tell you, um, you know, what I've been eating, I'm just going to clarify that number one, Um, <laughs> um, I, I'm giving you my, my answers. So this is just Kelly Alexa's experience. I am not suggesting that I am Kelly, the keto expert, that I've written a book that's science and data based. This is just my experience. However, that said, look at my results, you know, um, I, I will tell you this when I went keto, um, I didn't pick up 5,000 books and read exactly what, what I'm allowed to eat and not eat. Here's what I did. My doctor told me what my macros were. She said, I want you on 1600 calories a day. I want you doing 50 grams or less of carbs. I want you doing uh, I believe she said 50 to 60 grams of protein a day and then the rest healthy fats. So, you know, you do the math, you can figure out what the rest was as far as healthy fats. Um, for the first couple of weeks, I pretty religiously tracked my macros. And then after that, I had a pretty good idea and, and I more so tracked my macros less around fat 
but to more get an, a handle on carbs. I was very surprised by where hidden hidden carbs were things like green beans you know like i used to think oh well they're green beans they're green they you know that's fine well a can of green beans has more carbs in it than you think um and don't judge me and say oh i can't believe you eat canned food just don't even get whatever so anyway what i'm telling you is um this is my answers to you are based on my understanding and the way i did keto somebody might argue with me and go, well, that's, that's not keto. I, I'm just going to say the ends in my book justify the, the means and clearly it's working for me. And this is now I'm in the end of the seventh month and I'm still losing. So there you go. Um, but my understanding of keto, a lot of people I think mix up keto and paleo a little bit. I think they tend to blend these things. With paleo, um, and again, I'm very familiar with paleo, but again, I'm not going to call myself an expert. With paleo, there's definitely, you know, more food rules, like what foods you can and can't have. And, you know, like you're not allowed to have legumes. You're not allowed to have dairy. You're not allowed to have wheat. You're not allowed to have processed foods. You're not allowed to have alcohol. And it's very rigid and very, you know, there's a lot of paleo police running around, you know, looking for people they can accuse of doing this or that. Whereas key Keto is more about the macros and, you know, keeping your carbs. Now, there are some people that would argue, hey, it's more about um, keeping your carbs low and, and really making sure you're getting enough healthy fats. The whole time that I've been doing this, I was never making sure, I was never obsessed about how, much, how many fats or, you know, making sure I had a ton of fats. I just didn't. Um, that's just not the way I rolled. Whether that was right or wrong, I don't know. Um, now, back to what my friend was asking. I firmly believe that um, this is a big myth understanding about keto, that people think you should only be eating high fat proteins. Um, I think firmly believe that one of the keys to success for everybody is diversification in your diet and particularly in your protein. Um, I eat chicken, fish, um, eggs. I'm trying to think if there's any other protein there that I could be missing out on. And I think that the more that you mix up your protein, um, the more that it's going to help your body, um, the more that it's going to help your taste buds, I mean, protein is protein. I, I never at any time was like, I'm keto, so I should only be having beef. I just never, the only thing that I focused on this whole time was keeping my carbs at 50 grams or less. And every, and, and the way that I have approached every day, I do intermittent fasting and it's funny because I have said that for about six months, I have said that I was going to reincorporate my 24 hour fasting, which I really enjoy. Um, and it's very, very good for your health. Very, very good for insulin uh, issues. The only reason I haven't uh, over these past six months is I've really been having some issues with um, migraines and headaches. And that's not necessarily something you want to incorporate when you're dealing with, with headaches. Um, and migraines on a chronic basis. So I'm kind of waiting until I get back in to see my neurologist uh, until I regularly reincorporate that again. So that's definitely something I'm gonna do. But right now I am doing intermittent fasting. So I get up in the morning, I have my keto coffee in the morning, um, and then I do nothing but liquids until um, lunchtime. And so I have two meals a day. I have lunch and dinner. And on both of those meals, I will typically, have some kind of protein, but I don't have a ton of protein, which is so nice to not to worry about having, you know, like five meals a day, 30 grams of protein a day. That's what I did for years. Um, and my doctor taught me that that is not something I need to be worrying about. In fact, too much protein for women past the age of 40 can actually work against you and, and cause you to, you know, gain weight or store fat. That was one of the big things that she taught me when I 
got together with her when I hired her. Um, so, um, yes, you do not have to be only eating hot dogs or, or um, only eating high fat uh, protein. Diversification in your diet is one of the best things for you. Um, I have, chi for example, I'll, I'll tell you what we had for dinner last night. We had, uh, Steve brought home a rotisserie chicken. We just cut up, the simplest meal ever, we just cut up rotisserie chicken. We had a baked potato. We split the baked potato. Some of you might be going, Kelly, you had a potato? I, you're on keto. I thought you couldn't have potato. I have looked up because I am, I have made room in my carbs so that I can have a little bit of a baked potato. Now, what I do is we take a we we take one baked potato, we cook it in the oven, I split it in half, I I weigh it. So I think if I, it's a hundred grams, a hundred grams of a baked potato is twenty grams of carbs. So I was allowed to have that, and then I put real butter on it and real sour cream, and then I had a crap ton, uh, a good amount of uh, um, broccoli. Um, right now, that's my favorite vegetable. Um, I like to blanch it. Um, so I had chicken, broccoli, and, um, but, but like, I just, I, I just don't think like, oh, is this enough fat with chicken? I just eat chicken because it's like, it's a, it's just chicken. I'm not, I've never in the whole time I've been keto have ever thought, is this the right thing for keto? I just am like, it's, it's chicken. If I go to a restaurant, I'm either going to have chicken or fish. If, if I have fish, I'll probably have it with, you know, and if I order a carb, like if there's, if there's some, you know, kind of baked potato or whatever, I'll have a little bit of a potato. I let myself have a little bit of a potato. Um, that's how I enjoy keto. If I can have a little bit of potato or if we go out for sushi, I have a little bit, uh, maybe a little bit of a roll, uh, a little bit of rice. Um, because I don't snack during the day and I don't do the net carb thing, these are things I've talked about in some of my other videos um, or my podcast. I don't do the, uh, I don't do snacking. I don't do net carbs. I don't eat fake foods. That means I can have a little bit of rice. I can have a little bit of potatoes. And that me, that, that, that for me makes keto and eating keto a lot more like a lifestyle. I mean, sometimes this might sound silly to you, but like those few things in life, the ability to like when I go out to Whataburger and have a double cheeseburger, no bun, and I can have some fries, like that makes life a lot more enjoyable. Those few things here and there. Um, but yeah, um, diversity is key. So that was one of the things that I, I want it. I'm going to start doing a series on here of the top keto questions that I get. I'm also going to link up down below. Um, just did a podcast on the top 10 mistakes people make when people go keto. Um, and maybe what I might do is... <laughs> Each one of those could be a video in and of itself, uh, but I am going to start doing, you know, the top questions that people have about keto. But it, but if you guys watch this and you have questions for me, you know, feel free because there's things I don't even think about. When she asked me that question today, I was like, I didn't even think people, I never would have thought that that was a question that people had and uh, that people were thinking, I only am eating beef or high fat um meats. So bring all your questions to me. I'm happy to answer them. I'm here to help. Um, obviously, like I said, this is now month seven. I am um, still losing. I have surpassed my goal weight. You guys, I've told you that before. Um, I will keep weighing myself again so I can keep, let you know my progress. Um, things are going great. Um, and if you would like to do a consult with me, um, that is one of the things I'm starting to do now as well. Um, the types of consults that I do, you know, I'm, I'm not a dietitian, I'm not a trainer, but where I found a real sweet spot with people is helping them get what I call like their training wheels on. So in other words, it's like working with someone. Hey guys, so I had some serious technical difficulties at the end uh, there. So basically what I wanted to say um, in closing is 
If you have any questions about keto, please leave them in the comments below so I can make videos. I'm happy to answer any questions. If it's specifics about what to eat, if it's about working out, if it's about, you know, whatever, let me know. Um, I'm happy to make uh, videos answering your questions. Just let me know. Um, I do also offer one-on-one um, -on -one coaching um, where I've found that I can really help uh, women is in what I call, it's almost like um, training wheels is what I'm calling it because what I've found is that people need the most help for really just about a month and that's really just kind of doing one hour-long consult where we talk about where you're at make sure we're getting you started off um, with you getting you know, your hormones in the right place maybe getting you connected to a right doctor um, see, again just seeing where you're at historically with diet, exercise, all of that stuff. Um, and then putting you um, onto more of a... Uh, hey everybody, I hope this video was super helpful. Obviously, I've done a ton of videos on my keto experience and I think a lot of them will be super helpful for you. I will link them up here. There's a whole playlist on keto. Check it out, make sure you're subscribed. I will see you next time on The Kelly O Show.